The biggest mystery I have seen on this Delphi murder case is how does Richard Allen have bond? Yeah, his bond is $20 million, but the Indiana Constitution is quite clear. There's no bail for murder or treason. That is in the Indiana Constitution. Now, a person charged with murder or treason can ask for bail, but that has to be in a separate hearing. Now, I have never done a bail hearing on treason, but I have done a bail hearing for a murder charge. And it is like a mini trial with only a judge. At this bail hearing slash mini trial, witnesses are called, a judge hears the evidence, and there's still no bail if the state proves to the judge by preponderance of the evidence that the accused committed murder. Now, preponderance of the evidence is a fancy way of saying more likely than not. It's not even close beyond a reasonable doubt that is required for a criminal conviction. Think of preponderance of the evidence as 51%, just a smidge more than halfway. That's actually the standard in most civil lawsuits. So, if murder doesn't get bond unless there's a hearing, how does Richard Allen have a bond? He is charged with murder. There should be no bond until and unless there's a bail hearing. Because the record is sealed, we don't know how he has a bond, but I can try to guess. Is it because Richard Allen is charged with felony murder as opposed to normal murder? I don't think that matters for the purposes of bail. Even though felony murder under Section 2 of the Statute for Murder does not require the accused intend for the victims to die, the Indiana Constitution says murder, not just Section 1 murder. So there still should not be bail unless there's a hearing. Is this bond the state's way of waving the white flag, saying they know the murder charge against Richard Allen is not particularly strong or even perhaps weak? If this is the case, it should still be unconstitutional for him to have a bond because he's still facing a murder charge. There still would have to be a hearing. Is it something else we don't know? This is why I hate the fact the case is sealed. And it isn't all about me. Everyone should be irritated the case is sealed because it leads us all to speculate what's going on. The criminal justice system in Indiana is built on transparency and access to the courts. And when that transparency is gone, it causes us all to question the entire process. And this isn't the only weird thing about this case. Let's just add it to the list of things that are odd. Number one, felony murder instead of normal murder. Number two, sealed record, which is contrary to how most every other criminal case is done in Indiana. Number three, a judge who has recused himself. Number four, the holding of Richard Allen in three separate jails in the short time he's been in custody. And now number five, there's a bond on a murder case. Something is not adding up. Let's hope the hearing on 1122 solves some of these mysteries. If you have any thoughts on this case, subscribe and leave a comment below. I will try to respond to all comments, but I cannot promise to do so. Importantly, Richard Allen is innocent until and unless proven guilty in a court of law. Even more importantly, remember always, plead the fifth.